Hello, hello. Let's get back to more Final Fantasy 16. Is there any side quest? Side quest. Hello, Mumu. How was your day? Any you, 14 raids newcomer. today? I, What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Waiting for a PF. You're doing the last floor now, right? All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lost Quig. Not the safest place. How's the volume, by the way? Bearer, perhaps, is it? But the okay, soil that he sings. is second to none. Please be sing. Now go, and do not linger. Yeah, twelve S. Why? It may already is there be too a late. Phase two or a checkpoint in their fight? I haven't seen anything about it. Where am I supposed to go? I was totally not paying attention. Two phases. Does the boss transform? Isn't the Moogle funny? Clive, I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'll be happy to help. With the work. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Just don't have enough teams to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Back so soon. Here? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can I send me? He thought you might be hungry. Here's your food, jackass. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild monkey berries. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him. 
and yourself. Thank you. Come. We're looking at half a dozen. Maybe. Delivery. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little yeah, I know, right? like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, I'm just doing chores for, the for these people. And be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. I didn't even get gold. What the hell is a gill bug? Someone said does not get his name for appearance, but rather from the fact that it's highly sought after by physicists for using brain medicine. It's just a bug. It's fake money. Oh my god, he ripped me off. He gave me fake money. Where's the other quest? Do I need to head out? Is it the Moogle? Eh. Oh, it's over here. In real life, there's a, co there's a job called Robber. Or oh, there's a very risky job there. You risk dying every day. <laughs> Holy shit, what's that? Someone's in trouble. Trouble, she's screaming, yeah, she's just screaming. Because she wanted to call someone like Sid. Clive!
Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. She's awfully calm for someone that. to just scream. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil then. There's certainly hey. enough of it here. But is Could it dark, just rich, and put fragrant? Their face on dirt to smell them. Upgrade in the same with AI, yeah, yeah. something like that, something like this. It's actually being upgraded now, I think. The PS5 version looks. I don't know how what what's the difference, but it just looks nicer to me. Where should I go? Huh? Well, it's all done by Yoshi Yoshida's team. So I'll assume it will look better if not the same as this. The only thing I don't like about 14 is the you have to zoom out yeah, she's standing into right there. a very wide the camera girl. view to play. You can't the play zoom in. Did you bring it? So you can't see look at all your yes. characters doing the any yeah. fancy stuff. Glorious! The 14 have more when because 16 has more resolution it, Yeah yeah, it's basically yeah. Fit. It looks almost the same. With this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. I like how the Although some of the boss transitions, they are... Did he very similar to, to FF14 transitions. Yeah. I know it's not much, but it's something. Like the Zervan fights. What else is there? Zervan? I forgot what the moon lady is. The moon rabbit. I wish I could offer you some fruit. Too, all those. But you're not likely to. Savage transitions, the cutscenes, all that happen mid fight. We'll grow something worth eating during phase days, change. And when we those do, are very cool. You'll have first pick. Yeah, it's, it's what she does game. It's very, it's amazing. I love it. More side quests. Let's get back to the main quest. No, Clive can't jump. Clive can't jump like FF14 characters. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? 
We both know you don't come here for conversation. Yeah, precisely. 14, you can jump very, very high up. I need this. I don't need this. Eh. Off you go then. Yeah, Clive's I'm weak. Look. Weak legs. He skip leg day. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for yeah, the area as soon as we're able. Yeah, basically gods. Back down memory lane, eh? They can do all those fancy stuff no more humans can do with their size. Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. Gav's shy. You take shy care, guys. All right. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. So Where's Sid when you I need leave. him? Give him my regards. So boy, his eyes up. Back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Rand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly, I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. What if we got PNG? It's not PNG, man. This is a video. You. We should press on. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Well, now you can jump. Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. This is a very big map, guys. Look at the views on this one. Explains why there's a premium on it. Bring my food to kill goblins. There's no goblins here, but there's a there's a mammoth over here. This won't be easy. This one does the white food. Can I comment her on it? Get him, boy! 
couldn't do much. Is it even me? This is a random cow <laughs> on off the side of the road. realize Clive's head is bleeding. <laughs> Blood. The bull is the dark knight. Stay 
This time it's worse, it's 4 gear only. Or it's 9 gear. There might be a late game boss here, I think. For sure, maybe a hunt. Can't, can't only be just those 4 crabs. Building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop. Stop. Here! You couldn't give me an arm, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. A bearer. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it's really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. The good fellow to, to ask guy for help.
either. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Are you the stable master? This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. I think I can just walk like a few miles down the road. Something. Good girl. Is there a shop around? No, oh, isn't it? What's done? 
get some rest now. You barely have to step up. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Pool, leave him in the park. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him and make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Yeah, do you glow up? She doesn't look all bloody marshes, now. Then. Let's find that ladder. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. What is this? Keep them nice and fresh. They're using ice magic to freeze their fish. Oh, do. Some parts. Wait, how much does this cost? How much money do I have? Ah, whatever. Much obliged. There you go. Thanks very much. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Fresh cut. Fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts. Here. 
Did you hear the latest from Very good to East Bull, leave him. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are. Get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I hear the levees are due. Do you like that? Well, there's plenty more of that. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away?
further to the legions or Oriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Yeah, just... Ah. I always thought the bearer um, was someone with the, you weren't my brother, the tattoo on the face. No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. Alright? Alright. I didn't know it was people that can cast magic without crystals. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may what, have been so looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Where'd you get these turnips? Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? No. <sighs> <sighs> That's enough. <sighs> <sighs> Bluebird. Isn't it just a big chocobo? Yeah. <sighs> 
So these birds are okay, but the blue one is not. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We 
We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes. That kind of sucks. Sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. It was good, honest. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, yeah. 
with a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. Yeah. I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. I wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So are uh, then. I have to find him. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. <laughs> Word is, you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? It's not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? 
Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume.
You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Stuff was for the golden stables again. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. You barely have to step out. One of them. He can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bearer without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend.
Are we fucked? They're still arguing. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. So we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. at the blight it's spread even further south pushing yet more monsters down with it i dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way then we shall have to keep our wits about us <sighs> Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck, I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfers, are you? 
Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Bryce, let him know the road's safe. <clears throat> Wonder how long that bait will last. Are you Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Oh, what a rude guy. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Murdoch when I was young. Rosaria seemed a very different place back then. Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <laughs> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours.
We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. <sighs> Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years, without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. 
wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <laughs> we should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, well, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should Your take us all the way to Fiend. Safe travels. Y you? Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. You can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. 
Like the Harris. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Pool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long, but still, I would ask a favor of you, a small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's... As fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. What can I see? He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Pool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh... What business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. <sighs> Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Good 
day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Drink up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed <laughs>
Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace! You came for me! I waited for you so long, but you finally came! I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaking the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the land's life force, and problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful.
There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Could anyone? What is it, Torgal? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. After him. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix.
Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. And Sindor. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? What's I hardly one? call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell.
any of this makes sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. <laughs>
Let's make this quick. Stay down! Look out! There's more of them. They'll fall like the rest. this.
Oh, this is second hit. It. How's the game so far? It's very Devil May Cry ish. It's very fun. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, you get the game yet? Look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. What games are you playing now? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, train of DCs. Yeah, you, you told me about it like quite a while ago. Hey, you should play this game on, when it's going on discount. Meanwhile, you can watch me play. something. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. <laughs> you 
You're him. The second dominant to fire. Who are you? He just passed out. What? No, I'm not Kingdom Hearts, please. Travel again. Please stop. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran from everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul and finally rest in peace.
your father. Charge, yeah, a lot of this game is quite based on the game.
my example. It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together, then. It's time to find out who we are, once and for all.
arrêtez vos chutes de yo This combo to the soul yet in this form. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. 
I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said. He said, Sit, hate him. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? 
Find out where he is. I'll crush him. Flay him. Rip out his heart. Him and all his filthy brood. And send every last one of them to Out. No. Yes. Yes, my lord. He looks like Thanos, yeah, he's just not purple. So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. Alright, we should arrange an introduction then. What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Jump is the X button. And you open chests and doors and talk to people X button as well. Thought you could escape us, did you, Brandon? <laughs> you were born a slave and you'll die one! <laughs> Kill all the ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! Stay down! Yeah! 
who sheltered them by Empress Annabella's command. Bong him back. I 
I'm sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> The dude's name is literally suspicious character. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Had so many uses. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit, and there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. 
Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... What? The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. 
I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this ear fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> a few potions for this.
Sai, quest time. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick. Wanted to send a message. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Otto barking at his lot earlier. He's never this late. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? for coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area.
more of the lost supplies. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. We've come this far. Might as well ask. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Looking to be a fine harvest this year. Hello, Collier. Did Master Quint do something? The shad's all salted and smoked. Seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Poor dog. Someone's waiting for this. He's waited long enough already. Hopefully, this will keep our career out of trouble. Do I get down? Sun setting fast. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter? Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Can I fast travel here? Think so. But how did the grocer? His daughter had been stealing.
right. The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Well, he's dead. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Ah, there you are. 
My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And... I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. I think I'll end the stream after I turn in the quest, getting kind of tired. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. I should just own them. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. skulking about in the shadows for me then <laughs> and all thanks to you losing those supplies is one thing but if Sid had found out about that letter is it about curse breaker business <sighs> if only it's from his daughter she's off studying in Canver and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away he never mentioned a daughter well he's a busy man and thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. That's it for me today. <clears throat> Thanks for coming. See you next time.